Hello. After the excellent Uncharted 4, I wasn't really asking for more Uncharted. The tale of Nathan Drake was resolved in a more than sufficient manner, and I thought it'd be a fool's errand to try telling more stories in this universe without its charismatic leading man. But leave it to Naughty Dog to prove me wrong with the standalone Uncharted The Lost Legacy, which, for a discount price, delivers a smaller adventure of similar caliber to past entries in the series. This particular treasure hunting tale focuses on the pair of Chloe, a supporting character in the mainline series, and Nadine, one of the antagonists from Uncharted 4, as they team up to track down the ancient Indian tusk of Ganesh, all while staying one step ahead of a ruthless rebel leader. The dialogue is as well written here as it's always been, with great banter between Chloe and Nadine that further fleshes out their characters and helps develop their relationship believably. They're just plain likable and easy to root for, regardless of whether or not you've played the series before. The villain isn't especially well developed, but every character is acted exceptionally, and the game feels tightly paced due to its shorter length. The Lost Legacy clocks in at around six hours, though you can easily tack a few more on if you decide to take on some optional treasure hunting. Everything will feel familiar if you've played an Uncharted game before. The linear climbing, chaotic combat, simple but clever puzzles, and absolutely ridiculous set pieces that should kill everyone involved ten times over are all present and accounted for. Combat is given noticeably less focus here than clambering up handholds and making death-defying leaps, and as a result I found myself stumbling through battles more here than in the past, but what's there is still as solid as ever, with most encounters taking place in sizable arenas that allow for a good deal of mobility. Climbing is still pretty linear. There's always a clear path to your goal, with scripted near-fatal slips sprinkled in, but you'll still feel those excitable knots in your stomach as you dangle precariously over insane drops. Though there are still instances where Chloe will miss a handhold for seemingly no reason resulting in death. Thankfully though, checkpoints are incredibly well implemented, so these rare moments never result in more than a few seconds of lost progress. Naughty Dog continues to take full advantage of the PS4 hardware with stunning environments, character models, and animation. The attention to detail in just about every area of the game is jaw-dropping. You'll notice a wonky animation here and there, and on the standard model PS4 I encountered some frame rate dips during combat sequences, but other than those minor nitpicks, The Lost Legacy has the same incredible presentation you've come to expect. Rounding out the package is competitive multiplayer and survival, but it's actually just the same content offered in Uncharted 4. You won't see any maps, modes, or unlockables here that weren't present in Naughty Dog's previous offering. So if you've already spent some time battling online in Uncharted 4, there's nothing new for you here. However, if this is your first experience with the series, the multiplayer of Uncharted offers some enjoyable, chaotic fun. There's a good variety of maps and modes to play around in, and a lot of weapons and perks to unlock for the dedicated. It's not what I personally go to the series for, and likely won't replace your go-to online shooter in the long run, but you'll definitely have a good time for however long you decide to spend with it. At its core, The Lost Legacy is just more Uncharted, but that is by no means a bad thing. If Naughty Dog does decide to continue the series from here, then this is the direction I'd like to see them stick with. Shorter, tightly paced stories that have the same quality and polish as any other game in the franchise. There's really no reason not to give Chloe and Nadine's time in the spotlight a whirl, especially for its discounted $40 price tag. So whether you're a longtime fan of the series like I am, or you've never donned the half tuck shirt before, I suggest picking it up. Uncharted The Lost Legacy gets an 8 out of 10.